Hello everybody. Doing this video is a uh, product review for Dark Sword Miniatures Inc. Uh, you can go to their website. Uh, I believe it's Dark Sword Miniature or Miniatures.com. It might not be com, but Google search it, you'll find it. Uh, here's the logo of the company. They have some really nice miniatures if you haven't gone to the website and looked. Uh, if you're into the Game of Thrones, they have some Game of Thrones miniatures. Uh, they also have some animal fantasy type uh, models as well. And then they have your standard fantasy uh, miniatures and some other things. And there they got a nice, they got nice uh, miniatures, to say the least. After Thanksgiving, they had a Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. I think it's called Cyber Monday. Yeah. So they had a discounted price on all their products. Well, I've been looking at picking up the Master Miniatures painting with Jen Haley and Anne Forster. And the other one they have, which is the same title but with Marc Marque Remier. Uh, it's probably French, and I probably slaughtered that name. Excuse me, horribly. But I'll put the name up there so you can see it. And then you can tell me I'm a dummy, and I pronounced it completely wrong. Uh, so here's the front cover. Oh. And there's the three discs. Wrong way. And there is some of the miniatures that you actually see uh, them use and paint right here to demonstrate all the techniques that they show in this video. I'm going to say right here at the beginning that for $40, which is I believe the suggested retail price, uh, this was worth the money. This was a really good DVD set. This one is three discs with over 10 hours. The other one is four with over uh, 13 hours. Yeah, over 13 it says on that one. This one was over 10. This one you can give to your friend that's just starting out. They have a, a cleaning, pinning, mold line removal part. They have the basics to putting down paint, thinning down paint, color theory. Uh, they go over glazes, washes. Inks. Well, I guess they don't really do inks. Their washes are kind of inks. The they use the Reaper Masterline series paints. They do use some Vallejo paints in, in here for some of the things. But uh, the majority of the product is Reaper. Uh, they go over a little bit of the triad and how those work uh, here and there. They go over flesh tones, placing down the flesh tone, highlights. They have they go over highlighting, shadows. They go over how to do fabrics. They go over non-metallic metal. They go over doing regular metals with uh, using washes or inks or colors for the shadows. They go over hard to do colors. They have black, white, yellow, and a whole section for red. They go over hair and feather. They kind of do eyes. It's kind of tied in with the face and flesh. What else did they do in this? Um, they go over freehand. They go over everything, uh, but for a beginning player, uh, they even go over basing, but for a be somebody who's a beginner, uh, disc one would probably be as far as you want them to watch, and then go to disc three for the basing section. Uh, yeah, you could probably let them watch the hard to do colors, but uh, for a beginning painter, maybe you shouldn't really want them to see more than how to base coat properly, how to lay down the paint and see how paint's supposed to be thinned. You could show the highlights and shadow section, maybe just the highlights. It's kind of up to you and how you gauge that your friend might be. Um, 
even if you, you just want to give it to them a small section let them paint and get used to doing that and then show them the other section and then let them lay that down and get used to it so you kind of let them do it in steps but at the same time they progress to the movie at, at, at the same time I don't know if that makes sense uh, I, I like this video because it was an entertaining video to watch not like they got a crazy zany type things going on but in the way that Jen Haley and Ann Forrester interact with each other uh, if you don't know they actually teach painting classes together and sometimes they teach them separate uh, they actually go to competitions together uh, they uh, will actually paint miniatures together so they have a very good rapport with each other and they already have a built-in work relationship where they communicate with each other while they're actually uh, doing their miniatures so they have a very strong friendship and you can see that in here as they kind of go over some stories that have happened in the past with them as they're teaching you uh, it's all relevant uh, to what's going on in the video uh, they also will give some feedback that the other person might left out or kind of put in a little hint or tip that is kind of missed by the other um, they kind of take turns and sh showing how to do things as one person like Anne is much better at wet blending than Jen uh, Jen's uh, weak spot if you will is wet blending so you and they're showing how to do this one wolf Anne's doing one side of it with wet blending and then Jen does the other side and it's more glazed to kind of get the same effect so you can see two different ways to do the same thing um, but it's not boring because they're sitting there and they're talking so it's kind of like you go to their house or you know or whatever that room is you know wherever it is that they're painting their paint studio that they're painting together at and they're teaching you how to do something but the only difference is you're not able to communicate and interact with them so it's kind of like you're just sitting there being silent and being a good boy as they teach you something and, and you just you know you're just contently listening so I kind of I've enjoyed that format greatly I haven't seen the other video yet. I, I got to get to that one. I, I just finished this the other, the other not too long ago. I've, I've been kind of slacking on getting to watch it. I've been busy with some other things going on, as uh, we all usually end up being a little bit busier with stuff than we originally wanted to be. But uh, I highly recommend this. Uh, if you have already picked up or purchased this and you've seen it, please leave a comment below so that others may see your feedback on this series and uh, they can maybe better judge if this is something they want to pick up. Well, happy holidays everybody.